boom, zombicide, undead or alive, dead stock, abomination pack. <laughs> Check it. Cool. Got four miniatures here, and they are the abominations. And it looks like you get a rule sheet, rules leaflet, not sheet, I guess. And it probably explains their special abilities. Oh, probably, probably, it, probably, it does, <laughs> probably. So you get the Blood Bowl, Bison, Texas Deadhorn, he's freaking awesome, Texas Deadhorn, and Abomina Bear. Abomina Bear immediately performs an extra activation each time it survives a melee action targeting it. Or a range action aimed at its zone. Holy crap. And Texas Deadhorn. See, I go backwards, sorry. Melee actions performed in the Texas Deadhorn zone and range actions aimed at its zone cost one additional action. Holy crap. This game effect also applies when attacking any other zombies in the Texas Dead Zones Deadhorn's zone. Wow. Bison. 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 His is uh, just deals one wound to each survivor standing in zones it moves into. Spawning does not count as a move. Okay. And then, ooh, Blood Bowl. If the Blood Bowl has line of sight on its destination zone at the start of its activation, it moves up to three zones to reach it. <laughs> he goes on a freaking bull run, dude. Set its destination zone before moving the Blood Bowl. It moves to get there. Don't change its course if a new target appears along the way. That dude just freaking does bull runs on you, man. Rawr! That is so cool. All right, we'll check out the minis. Here's the abomination cards, which explain the same thing I just said. Yeah, so no need to open them up. All right, let's open these up, which means they're probably taped. They're probably taped on the sides. Yep, I gotta get them. I gotta get them. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, took the tape off, and here we go. I'll do this. There'll be a, obviously there'll be a slideshow at the end, so you get a better idea of what they look like without my shaky hands. But here you go. Uh, it's not gonna focus in too well. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. That's God. That's the Bison. Bison. They're huge, man. Heavy too. And then there's there's the bull. Freaking does a bull run. Anyway, sorry. So that is really cool looking. My goodness. And then, oh, I already forgot the dude's name. Boy, my memory's horrible. Oh, the Texas Deadhorn. Dude's freaking huge. I mean, these things are heavy. Awesome. The details are superb. Love it. Dang, they're big, so they're, you're going to see my mistakes of painting. But, oh, well. So, and then the Bombina Bear. He is huge. Dude, we need Grizzly Adams to take care of this. Yeah, before, you know, you young and who's Grizzly Adams? It was a TV show a long time ago. So, anyways, that dude's awesome. Alrighty, man. This is a nice, short, brief unboxing of the Dead Stock Abomination Pack that I got with the Kickstarter pledge. Um, slideshow following. Uh, go ahead and uh, leave any comments if you like. Uh, if you had any, if you encountered these dudes already in the game, please let me know how that went. And um, I'm looking forward to getting this on the table. Got a lot of zombicide, man, um, on the way. Uh, thanks for hanging in there. Uh, this Again, this channel does a whole lot more than zombicides. Just right now, I'm just introducing uh, the Kickstarter pledge that I received. I got the full steam ahead, everything Kickstarter one, whatever. And I just want to show you guys and uh, show that, you know, th this is what's ahead on the channel. And, um, and then, you know, and then got some miniature war games on the way, too. So, historicals. Yay! All right, guys, take care. Um, Light show following, all that stuff. Bye! <laughs>